Alrighty, welcome to another video guys. Now in this video, I'll be teaching you guys about multiplying rational numbers. Okay, now let's get to it. Alright, the first one guys. So let's see if we can simplify anything and we cannot. So all we got to do is multiply top with top. So we have negative 4 over 27. That's it guys, finished. Now let's go to question 23. Now if you take a look at it guys. 4 and 4 can simplify, 4 will change to 1, this 4 will change to 1, so we got negative 1 times negative 1 over 1 times 3, which is equal to 1 over 3, right, right, the reason it's positive is because negative times negative will give positive, right guys, now in this one, 5 will change to 1, 15 will change to 3, 6 will change to 3, and 4, 8 will change to 4. So we have 1 times negative 4 over 3 times 3. And our answer is negative 4 over 9. Negative 4 over 9. Next one, guys. Now, first, what we're going to do is convert it into an improper fraction. So we have negative 2 multiplied with negative 5 over 4, right? Now, these two will simplify. Two. So we got negative 1 times negative 5 over 2, which is 5 over 2, which is 2 and a half. 2 and a half, right guys? Let's go to the next one. Again, whenever we see questions like this, we are going to convert it into, into improper fractions first, guys. Okay, so we got negative, negative 10 over 3 multiplied with negative 27 over 10 <clears throat> right guys now 3 will change to 1 27 will change to 9 and 10 10 will simplify itself so we got negative 1 times negative 9 over 1 times 1 which is equal to 9 right which is equal to 9 over 1 which is 9 Alright guys, let's go to the next one. So first convert into an improper fraction. So we got negative 5 over 3 to the power of 3, yes, which is equal to negative 5 cubed over 3 cubed, which is negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. And it's going to give us minus 1, 2, 5 over 27. Alright guys, minus 1, 2, 5 over 27. There we go. And in this one, guys, we just do normal multiplication. Yeah, we just do normal multiplication. So 0.4 times negative 0.03 will give us negative, right? The answer will be negative 0 0.012. Now these guys, you can do it mentally itself, right? We can do it mentally itself. Now the next one, the answer will be positive because negative times negative will give us a positive answer, right guys? So we have, what do we have here? We, we have 0 0.05 multiplied with 0 0.5, which is equal to 0 0.025. The answer will be positive because we are multiplying two negatives, right guys? Let's go to the next one. Here also guys pretty straightforward right so the answer will be negative right and when you multiply them we will have negative 0 0.72 right guys negative 0 0.72 now for question 31 guys i'm going to use a calculator to save us time so 9.3 times 5.1 will give us positive 47 0.43 right now for 32 also i'm going to use a calculator and the answer will be again positive 11.424 and for question 33 we got negative 0 0.4 times negative 0 0.4 times negative 0 0.4 right guys so i'm going to multiply it uh three times and when we multiply three times with negative guy the answer will be negative yeah and we have 0 0.064 all right 0 
all right guys in this one we are going to we are going to use um, the order of operations to solve it okay step number one guys let's change it to a mixed fraction so we have 14 over 9 yes 14 over 9 multiplied with negative 3 over 2 plus this will give us negative 13 over 5 right guys let me put that in bracket now we got multiplication and addition now using ped math or pemdas or whatever your teacher has taught you we are going to do multiplication first right so this will change to 1 7 1 and 3 so we got negative 7 over 3 and plus times minus will give us negative 13 over 5 right guys now using common denominator we're going to multiply this one with 3 over 3 and this one with 5 over 5 right so we got negative 35 negative 39 over 15 which is equal to negative 74 over 15 now converting this into a mixed number we are negative 4 14 over 15 all right guys negative 4 14 over 15 now let's go to the next one again converting it into an improper fraction so we have negative 15 over 4 times 5 over 6 minus 7 over 3 right guys now let's see what can simplify these two can simplify this will change to 5 this will change to 2 so we got negative 25 over 8 negative 7 over 3 now multiplying this will times 8 over 8 this times 3 over 3 to find a common denominator so we have negative 75 negative 56 over 24 which is equal to negative how much will this give us 131 over 24 yes guys 131 over 24 which is equal to negative 5 and then 11 over 24 there we go negative 5 11 over 24 now for the last question we are going to do exponents first so we will have 4 over 9 minus with 3 over 4 times 7 over 3 right guys times 7 over 3 now we are going to do multiplication first 3 3 simplify so we have 4 over 9 minus with 7 over 4 right now using common denominator times 9 over 9 and this one times 4 over 4 so we got 16 minus with 63 over 36 right guys 16 minus 63 over 36 which is equal to negative 47 over 36 converting it into a mixed fraction we got negative 1 11 over 36 all right guys and that is how we would multiply rational numbers and do order of operations in rational numbers all right until next video guys have a nice day bye bye